actually going to spark up a joint. Probably won't get arrested on, on the old stream. Hopefully not anyway. Let's see if they've got all the outfits all listed here. Live blog. Inside performances. What's this? Is that it? Oh, all, all, all the celebrity outfits. Cool. Let's do this. I want to do this live. So let me get. I'm going to grab a beer as well before we begin. Way. podcasting really is the best if you're if you, if you listen to this and you don't have one yourself please consider starting a podcast you know you could even do it with an app called anchor they they let you do it to kind of record a podcast on your phone and you can kind of get it out straight away or you can just do what i used to do before and record them on voice notes and just upload it to soundcloud you know just do it raw but it's so fun man yeah where else can you go all right spark up a little <laughs> get grab yourself a beer and talk about Met Gala 2018, man. Where else can you do that? Um, so yeah, Met Gala outfit, outfit, outfits. The guys are, like I said, were fucking horrendous, right? For the most part, right? The men were just, you know, like, what's the point? First off, let's start with the good, right? Or oh, I'm just gonna flick through the slideshow. Why not? Because I think that's fun, right? To do that sort of thing. Let me make this full screen so you can see that on the on the old uh, OBS. Or the old podcast, and again, if you're not if you're not watching this on YouTube, then I'm gonna t I'll put the slideshow link on the description. But I'm sure if you if you're on social media, I'm sure you've seen these pictures already, so you probably don't even need to see them again. But you definitely need to click and subscribe my uh, YouTube or podcast channel because <laughs> that's a that's a big job. Anyway, Blake Lively, number one. I thought she looked great. I thought Blake looked awesome. You don't really see her. Uh, I don't really feel like you see her that often out and about anymore, um, especially on red carpet. She seems to have kind of regressed and kind of gone back into, into just being an, an actress, right? And just doing her thing that way, which is amazing. I actually watched a movie that she was in a while back, um, the one with uh, Ben Affleck, uh, the one where he robs banks. What's that called? Oh. She's amazing in it. She plays like a junkie. Um What's that movie called? Let me, let, me, let me get up on the stream. Let me get up on my phone and see if I can remember the name of it. It's a, it's a maybe someone <coughs> at home is shouting about it. That's why you shouldn't smoke on camera because you cough like that and everyone thinks you're a loser. Blake Lively. Um, what's his name? Oh, what did I say his name was? The Batman guy. Fuck. Uh, bank robbery movie. Rank robbery. Let's see if that works. Oh, I forgot his name. Just said it now. Jesus Christ. My memory, man. It's going to absolute shit, mate. That's it. Town. The Town. Or Town, right? That's an amazing movie. Check, I definitely recommend you check it out. Uh, the Town uh, starring... Who's the guy I mentioned? I forgot. Ben Affleck. Uh, Jamie Renner. Who's in... What else is he playing? He's a good actor, actually, that guy. He's in what's that movie where he plays uh, a guy in the Antarctic? He's got I'm gonna cover some murder of a girl that died, uh, a Native Indian girl, Native American girl, Native Indian. Anyway, great movie. Highly recommend you check it out. So Blake's looks amazing. I four number one again. Look how long I'm spending on this already. This lady, not a fan. Sorry, what's your name? Uh, Phoebe Waller Bridge. No, no, thank you. Um, Adoa Aboa, um, not a fan at all. I thought she, I thought she'd come a bit more. I thought she'd come much harder than that. It looks quite auntie-ish the, the dress itself. Um, I'm not a fan. Of, I'm not a fan of her dyeing her hair. I thought she should have just kept it blonde. I don't think the dye actually worked with the outfit at all. By the way, cheers. In case you're listening, um, I just cracked open a little tin of Heineken because I'm watching. You know, I'm rewatching. The glorious pictures from the Met Gala 2018. Why wouldn't I be drinking um, Heineken? This young lady here is... Is that North Korean survivor? Wendy Wu? No, it's not, is it? I think when the, it's the other one, right? It was the one in red, I think. Maybe Lee Wen. I think so. Um, either way, not a fan of the outfits. Congrats for surviving, but not a fan of your outfits. Uh, Kristen Scott Thomas in Erdem. Nope, not a fan either. Um, oh, I thought... 
I thought Sienna Miller looked Sienna Miller looked amazing, right? Sienna Miller's wearing Louis Vuitton and Fred Layton jewelry with a Jimmy Choo bag. She looked brilliant. For those listening, she's wearing like a a white long sleeve top, amazing on the body, a little bit baggy on the arms, with an, with some great jewelry. It sort of looks like a. It kind of looks like, you know the you know the. Um, what they call them the floats that you put on the side of boats right so it kind of made out made out of silver and diamonds and shit so it's kind of like you know it's got like the rope and you put the kind of floats inside the boat she's got an amazing i don't know if that is even silver i'd had I'd, I'd, I'd love to feel that material I'd love to feel her yeah. and a nice little white clutch she looks stunning and an amazing crown like cinnamon looks amazing she's grown old so well now, I'm not just now again. This is me saying this um, without knowing the gossip. She probably she might have had some work done. I don't know if she has or hasn't, but I'm gonna take it on face value and I say Tiana Miller's aged amazingly well, mate. She looks hot as fuck. Like she looks definitely like a nice hot, um, an amazingly attractive West London mummy. Tiana Miller looks awesome. Um, what's his name? Um, Lil Puff. Sean Christian Combs. Chris, Con- I wasn't a fan of his outfit at all. I thought he was doing way way too much. Should have, he could have done that outfit a lot better than it could have than it looks on him, or maybe he just doesn't look that good in clothes. I'm not sure what it is with Chris with, with um young Christian Combs because he does he does he does wear a lot of Dolce Gabbana, doesn't he? He's always on the runway for D and G when they always, when they kind of when they kind of uh, rent all the influencers for one day and fly them all down to Italy to wear their gaudy clothes. Um, but yeah, I'm not a fan of the outfit at all. I thought the out. I thought this. These these are the outfits I kind of saw a lot, especially with women. Um, this lady is called Mika Arganaza. Arganaza. I'm assuming she's a model because she has legs for days. Um, but she had like a you know um the new what's his name Anthony Valacareca, whatever his name is the new uh, creative director of Saint Laurent. Got that guy to replace Heidi Slimman. He's got a particular look that he likes. Right, these wide shoulders. Um really short skirts, high boots, or kind of like, you know, calf, like kind of calf length boots, right? So loads of legs showing. He's kind of got the same silhouette that he uses. It's sort of like a sophisticated, it's sort of like a less blingy version of Balmain, right? Like, uh, you know, high rise skirts, big shoulders, powerful legs. But it's not the kind of look you'd want to wear for a Catholic themed heavenly bodies um, Met Gala exhibition, right? It's a little bit too red carpety or like you know after party vibes it looks like right or maybe she, she could have to change that that could be an option too <laughs> another um asian superstar who i wasn't really a fan of the outfit wise and none of the asian ladies gave a shit about the theme i don't think they came in specifically just to kind of appease their asian market and also to kind of pick up that bag, you know what I mean? But I don't think any of the Asian ladies actually cared. Especially, as, I'm assuming they're, they're celebrities from the Asian market, right? Like big, big, big stars. But yeah, I wasn't necessarily a fan of either of any of those kind of looks from them, to be honest. Uh, Claire Danes, a girl from Homeland, didn't look great at all. She This dress is not flattering in the slightest. This has to be said. Let me uh, zoom in a little bit here. It's not sl- It's not flattering at all. No way, Jose. Another lady who kind of wore a going out sort of jacket uh, outfit, which I wasn't a fan of, Charlotte Casarigi. Um, she's very pretty anyway in general, but you know this outfit just doesn't do it for me. Maybe the boots just doesn't. Not a fan of it. Oh, this I'm a fan of totally. Um, Joanne Smalls in Tommy Hilfiger and Philip Tracy and uh, Philip Tracy or Tracy um, headpiece. She looks great, sort of like a gold a gold statue but is it me or sometimes with people who are light skinned that wear this kind of caramel color always look a bit weird right so you look at you're kind of naked especially when you zoom out a bit and you squint kind of like she's naked sometimes which is a bit odd i know to say but i don't know it's a bit like me i, I don't i tend not to wear dark brown at all if ever right or even sometimes or even khaki or cream sometimes i don't know i just feel as if like i don't know you just feel naked sometimes but Outfit wise, she smashed it. Joan Small, so well done, my dear. Lewis Hamilton, it's not even worth getting started on Lewis. How bad his outfit is, like from the top to the bottom, man. It's just an absolute car crash. With guys, it's weird because you kind of get an idea your outfit shit. The moment you put on your shoes, I'm not sure if, if other guys feel the same way, but I know I do, right? 
I put on my shoes. And sometimes I can just realize straight away when I put my shoes on, like, this is a dead outfit. And you have to make a decision right then and then whether you're going to try and correct it or you're just happy to just have a dead outfit. You're just going to, like, ride it out. And I've sometimes had to ride it out. But he looks like he thinks he looks sick and he looks horrible. And you know why he looks horrible? Which is a good option, which is a good, which is a bad and a good thing sometimes, right? You know you look really bad when you don't see a picture on most of the big sort of like um, the guys in the back are always funny in their faces, the photographers. I think someone should make us a, a, a collage of them on Instagram. Maybe I'll do that actually. Um, you always look, you know, you look bad on these kind of things when you're not circulated amongst all the big sort of like you know instagram and facebook and twitter accounts that kind of regurgitate or repost this stuff and you know you look really good when everyone posts your thing but then you're sometimes in the middle where you, sometimes people are saying you're good sometimes not but i've not seen lewis hamilton's picture anywhere i've got to be honest a- anywhere like especially saying anything good they sort of like avoid that at all number one the boots right they're just horrible right i don't know what he's why he's wearing those boots but you know just on, on their own, the boots are shit, right? These sort of like white Dr. Martins kind of style boots, but not even not cool Dr. Martins at all with like diamonds and shit in it. You know, he's a Formula One racing car driver, you know, like he's got more money than God. There's there's bound to be some mistakes there, right? Uh, he's got white pants on that match his white suit jacket and the pant suit and the pant suit legs are uh, have been hemmed, right? Have been kind of like rolled over. I don't know why. Don't ask me. I just don't know why, right? So he's got these weird high water trousers on that he's kind of like rolled up. He's got jewelry on that doesn't. He's got like a rosary thing that's been hidden by long arms of a jacket that doesn't really fit that well. He's got embroideries on the lapel of the suit jacket. Embroideries again on side. Is that a waistcoat? Yeah, he's got a waistcoat inside the jacket with lapels embroidered in it and a shirt with more embroideries in it. And then he's got earrings with a cross on it. Like it's like. Oh. But, I don't know, maybe it's a thing of, like, not having a stylist, maybe it's a thing of, like, hiring the wrong stylist, maybe it's a thing of, like, you know, because he's a, you know, he's a good-looking guy, he he races in Formula 1, he's got loads of disposable income, he, he, he's got access to some of the most desirable names out there, it's like, you've got to do better, man, you've got to do better, Lewis Hamilton, you have to do better, like, that outfit was, an abs- that, that, that's, that's going to be a no for me, dog, like, who's, who, that's the guy from uh, American Idol, right? It's a no for me, dog. Like, no thank you. Um, who's this? This is uh, Kate Upton, right? Just, I don't really have time for her in general. Like, I don't, you know what I mean? You, are you looking to check? Is anyone checking for Kate Upton's outfits, really? I don't know. I'm checking for when I see Kate Upton. It's not the outfits. <laughs> um, uh, and Alexa Chung, I'll pass. I'm not, I just, I don't get it. I don't get why she's a net girl. Like, I just don't get it. I don't. I'm sorry. Um, she seems really fun. She seems cool. She was fun. She seems like she would be a laugh and stuff. But I just don't get why she's in it, girl. Like at all. Like she's, she's just so boring, man. Like she just looks so boring. You know, just boring, incredibly boring, and just you know, just boring. Not in a bad way, but just boring. And it girls shouldn't be boring. They're dynamic, right? It girls are like Kate Moss, you know, like falling out of the club, you know, like. Purse spills are everywhere. There's bags all over the place. You know what I mean? Scupping them in. And you've got amazing... Ju- you're, wearing, you're wearing Pound of Love jewellery on. And like Isabella Marant boots. Like especially pre-2004. You've got amazing jeans on. Nice leather jacket. You know what I mean? You just look bad. You're just sick. You know what I mean? You just... I don't know. But she's just... It's just it's maybe an it girl for like people that read Grazi and stuff, right? Right? Maybe like that, right? Like if you're an older kind of lady but you've got this like fashionista raging inside of you that you've kind of tamed and then you kind of live vicariously through Alexa Chung but I'm cool with her man and the outfit is just like meh 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 I thought Diplo looked quite cool personally I think I think he's got swag man he carried his outfit off quite cool I I think he could have gone with a robe or some of some sort right um uh a frock as Joe Budden loves loves to refer them as I think that he would have looked sick in that but he think he, he looks okay. Another Asian lady who I don't care about. Um, Salma Hayek. No, no, thank you. This uh, I don't know who you are. I'm just gonna gonna say your name. Uh, what's this lady's name? That's not Jennifer Connelly, is it? Really? Okay, maybe it is. 
Okay, anyway, uh, Jennifer Connelly, I wasn't a fan of her outfit at all. Um, it's just, I don't know, it just doesn't look that great to me personally. I think that top bit kind of throws me off a little bit. Uh, Louis Vuitton, so I'm assuming this is, uh, what's his face? The um, emo creator director of Louis Vuitton. Oh, his name escapes me. But it's probably made amazing, right? Because he's one of the best designers in the world. But I just don't like it on her. I don't think it works that well. Uh, Idris Elba just wore a black tux. So he gets a nil point from me. Um, Sarah Paulson and Ma Michael B. Jordan. Sarah Paulson's wearing a Prada um, dress, which is near a here or there. But Michael B. Jordan is just wearing a horrendous off-white suit that just doesn't look great at all. Maybe because he's just too wham, right? He's just too blonks. Like, he doesn't look that great in suits. Because I don't know, when's the last time you see someone really hench that looks great in suits, right? So he's just maybe he's just too blonks. But I just hate the suit itself. The massive patch on the sleeve. Obviously, with all the off-white code names and shit on it, right? With the speech bubbles, and with the speech marks and shit. The belt, the belt he's wearing, like inside the jacket. That's also outside the jacket. It's just annoying as well. It's just all wrong for me. I'm not a fan of that. That'll be a no for me, dog. Uh, I who else is here? Ah, oh, um, Jordan Dunn looked. I thought looked okay. Maybe minus the shoes and the hair. I don't think the hair worked well with the outfit and the shoes. Are just weird, right? Um, you just kind of you know zoom in like that, right? Does it work? Jordan done like that. I think that looks nice. I don't think the shoes and the hair work that well for me personally. So I wasn't a fan of her outfit. This lady, I don't know why she wore a jacket on her shoulder, but you know, neither here or there. Um, this one I can give a pass to as well. This I'll pass to. Let me try and get the ones I actually liked, and then I can just maybe comment on those a little bit. Because some of these ones are just, you know, they weren't that great, really. Oh, Selena Gomez looked really weird, didn't she? I'm not sure if she's pregnant or if she's just high or something. But she had that weird face where she was sort of like in pain or some shit. The dress was horrible, too. Um, do you know Manen needs to lay out the hats? Um, she's got an amazingly pretty face and great hairstyles that I've seen her do sometimes. And the outfit's just like, I don't know. I'm just not a fan of it. And just lay off the hats. Too many hats, please. No more hats. Smiley Cyrus. Look that Miley Cyrus going to a red carpet event, you know. Miley Cyrus, it's always like um, it's always like a red carpet at the top, uh, elegance at the bottom, isn't it? It's like you know what I mean, like her her face usually gives away where she's been. You know what I mean, she's got very expressive. If you know what I mean about my Cyrus red carpet looks like, you can tell it's Miley Cyrus just from the face alone, like you know. Um, body wise, you 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 could think like you know that could be any number of like very attractive slim uh hollywood actresses right you could you would you wouldn't be able, maybe if you recognize the tattoos you'd be able to cheat but the face you could tell for sure where she's been right Been the little oldie bender talk about old scarlett johansson looks not so very very gaudy in this outfit i wasn't a fan of it at all and i thought virgil looked sick personally I think a lot of people are saying Virgil didn't look good, but I thought the outfit looked great on Virgil. He, he usually, he, whenever I see him in a picture, he comes, to, I think maybe he's practiced because he's, he's been out and about a lot lately, right? Especially in the last year and a half, he's been getting his pictures taken everywhere. But he seems like he's, um, his posture is better. He stands a little bit better than before. He used to always look a bit weird when he used to wear stuff. Like, he just has a weird, like, gangly way of standing and walking. But he looks much cooler now in the stuff that he's wearing um in general anyway i think he just carries the stuff better and i think this outfit you can tell what an atelier this is why i mean when i mentioned before about we're gonna see the best version of virgil at louis vuitton because people are saying no he's gonna see the worst because he's got access to everything and he's gonna do shit no you're not understanding it he's got great ideas as he as proven by those off-white trainers right they're probably one of the greatest pieces of design or that collection in general the nike 10 is probably one of the best creation best pieces of design in i don't know in forever right they're gonna go down in history as like well do you remember when those came out right like this is gonna be one of those kind of things people are gonna study that shit like they were genius level quality of shoes right like hiroshi level quality right so he's obviously shown that he can do cool things like the belt that i wear every day right that's amazing right a cool, he took something that i had in my i thought about it for a long time but again i didn't do it so it doesn't matter but he took something so mundane and every day and turned it into an incredibly luxury item uh the whatever you think of the quote marks a genius branding and marketing piece so he's got great ideas sometimes he doesn't have the finesse or maybe the resources to really present high level work 
But I think if you place him in an environment, especially in Louis Vuitton, with that atelier, right? With people who've been working in that atelier for, I don't know, 50 plus years, yeah? Right? Hand sewing shit, right? Real couture. Uh, none of this internet shit, right? Real fucking couture with clients that come, that go in there every season to season out, regardless who the designer is. We're going to see the best version of Virgil, I think, in my opinion. I think we're going to see the best of him in there. And I can't wait to see this new collection. I'm eager to know, though, whether or not Jaden is wearing a jacket designed by Virgil 2, the new collection. I don't know if, it's, if that's true, but the outfit-wise, I thought that outfit looked sick. I thought it suited him really, really well. Um, another man who I'm just going to pass on. I don't care who this guy is. Oh, um, Emily Wojciechowski, obviously, body is just, like, on absolute one million. Uh, outfit was great. Um, Cassie didn't look that great to me, in my opinion. I thought Nikki looked all right. Um, who else? Let's quickly maybe scan through some of these. Jimmy Kimmel and whatever. Oh, Wiz Khalifa looks great in his suit. Um, the suit itself I'm not really a fan of. I think a lot of people are saying he looked like a blunt, right? <laughs> a backward, which was which was funny. It's a Dior suit. It fits him a lot better now because he's bulked up a bit, right? Everyone's kind of saying it fits amazing because he's kind of got a little bit more muscle. He's filling out more. And he obviously was incredibly... He obviously looks incredibly, incredibly skinny. But now when you feel like that frame, he's got like a good long frame. You're going to look amazing in clothes. So hopefully he continues doing it. And if you don't know why he filled it out, check out his Instagram because he's been doing a lot of MMA lately. And yeah, he looks great in clothes now. Um, not now, but like he's filling them out way better than he was before. So he's going to look amazing going forward. So that was okay, I'd say. I'm not really a fan of the suit color itself. Uh, Cara Delevingne, I wasn't a fan of her outfit at all. Um, Kim, wasn't really a fan. I love the makeup. But this lady, she smacked it. Zedenia, right? Zedenia smashed it. She looked amazing. The only thing I'd fault I'd say about her is I wish it came. I wish it came with like a fake sword, like some sort of like just like a prop, just a, like kind of full cosplay. That would looked amazing. Like maybe super dust studded out, or maybe even just on the side as little propping. That would have been so cool. Or maybe even just had like a own version of like a a swordsman, maybe carrying it behind her or something. But I thought she looked so cool man so then you think smashed it red carpet looks in my opinion the makeup the hair like absolutely bang on uh solange looked didn't look too bad herself actually to be honest solange looked nice uh jeremy scott outfit i loved i didn't like the shoes cardi b's outfit i loved love love loved and there's a few others too who i'll probably mention probably not worth mentioning it now because i'm sure everyone's tired of seeing the pictures oh rihanna of course looks amazing i wasn't really a fan of kylie and travis but it was great to see them on the catwalk. Is it, was it great to see them? I don't know. I don't really care. Was it great to see them? When catch yourself saying these kind of corny things. It was great to see them. Like, what? <laughs> um, oh, my God. Anyway, but yeah, um, Met Gala looked, looked great. Everyone looked like they were having loads of fun. And, you know, men always look shit in these kind of things because I'm, I'm guessing, you know, we don't really make, as I, like I said in the beginning, you don't really want to make a mistake, right, and put yourself out there. Uh, the girls smashed it. Men look like shit because you don't want to make mistakes. But, hey, ho, what can you do? Uh, if I went to the Met Gala one time, I would definitely show out, man. I'm gonna, I'm wearing an outfit for real, for real, you know? 